hello YouTube and welcome to another edition of Lori's Thrifty Kitchen Pantry. If you are new, welcome. I am so glad to, to see you and I am happy to have you in my kitchen with me. If you like what you see, make sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, hit the little notification bell so that you're notified when I put new videos out and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back I am so happy to have you back in my kitchen and make sure that you are still subscribed to my channel because uh, there's been a lot of people who have been unsubscribed from other channels and some including this channel have been unsubscribed so just make sure that you are still subscribed and getting those notifications and if, if for some reason you have been unsubscribed just hit the resubscribe button again and you'll start getting those notifications again so as you all know I have been doing a massive pressure canning week this week I did not have my Thanksgiving dinner because I was busy pressure canning and I no longer feel like I want to eat turkey right now because I this I cooked and pressure canned two turkeys and I just don't want turkey so I think I'm going to fix a a different kind of a holiday meal tonight but it's it's one that I think I'm looking forward to I'm going to do a kind of like a country fried chicken I'm gonna pound out some chicken breast and, and bread it and uh, get it in the in the skillet frying I'm gonna do some mashed potatoes with it and I'm ready for some stuffing bites. That's the only thing I've really missed from not having my Thanksgiving dinner was my stuffing bites. So I'm going to get those in the uh, in the air fryer. I will leave my, a link to a previous video where I show how to do the, the stuffing bites. So, um... Yeah, that's that's gonna be my my special holiday meal. So I am getting hungry, and I'm ready to to get this meal going. So let's get into the kitchen and let's get cooking. And we are back. Okay, as you can see, my grease is bubbling. The water from my potatoes is boiling. So we are ready to get the show on the road. Let me grab my instant potatoes. And we will get this started. So I already have my chicken pounded out. And we are ready to go. My stuffing bites is in the air fryer as we speak. We just have to grab a box of instant potatoes because I just have a, a little bit open. So I'll go ahead and get my box open. I have my ready station already so we are set to go so I put my chicken out pretty fine so it's going to cook pretty quick which is what we want so this this can get this part can get pretty messy so I'm just reaching in here with my Hands in. Y'all, this chicken does not smell right. So I'm going to have to come up with a plan B. Because we don't want to eat spoiled food. Oh, 
All right, so yeah, that that chicken just smelled bad. I've been hearing that about chicken lately, and I just de decided I'm not taking a chance on making myself sick. So I think I'm, I'm going to go ahead and take a jar of my turkey. I wasn't going to have turkey, but I am now. And I'm going to drain the juice off of it. And let's see here. Oh, that does smell good. We're going to go ahead and bread, bread it, even though it's almost done. This is an experiment. I've never done it this way before. So we will see what happens. And I'm going to get it in here in my egg. And just give that a mix. And we'll get it back into the flour. I know I just dropped some on the floor. I will get that cleaned up after I get this going. And I'm just kind of mixing this around in the flour. And now I'm going to very carefully drop it into our hot grease. Now I'm going to give my hands a good wash. So that's what happens sometimes when you are cooking, you have to change your game plan. So that's what I did. I changed my game plan. Yeah, I surely didn't want to eat something that did not smell right, and that really smelled bad. I was not going to take a chance on me. Alright, it's not taking this long at all to fry up and this is just um, vegetable oil with a little bit of butter in it. That is it. So now I'm going, I'll let you see what I'm doing over here. I'm just doing my instant potatoes. And I'm just stirring those in until it looks like I have enough. Because you all know that's how I roll. And you don't want to splash yourself like I just did. Alright, that's a little bit on the dry side, so I'm going to add some water to it. Open it out a little bit. And I just have a jar of turkey gravy back there simmering, which actually worked out really good. So I think think we'll be alright with our supper. That looks like it's frying up pretty nice. Let me go ahead and turn that a little bit and I want to add some more water to our potatoes are still just a little on the dry side okay that's better so we do want them want them to stand up to that gravy you don't want them to Soupy, so I will turn that off and I will grab my spatula here and stir my gravy up. And we will give this a stir. 
This is going to be an interesting dinner. I have never in my life done turkey this way. So we will see how it turns out. And I will let you all know my honest opinion. If it's not good, I will tell you. My stuffing bites are close to being done. And this turkey was already cooked to begin with, so all I really have to do is cook the coating on the outside, because the turkey was already done. That is one of the joys of having cooked meat on your shelf. So it does not take long at all to throw your dinner together. All right, let me grab a couple of plates and move my chunk out of my way. And we'll get dinner just about ready. And I'm actually kind of excited to try this. So this will be something new for me. Never in my life have I done turkey this way. But I have done chicken this way. So I'm hoping that the turkey will be just as good. And I think that's probably about all she wrote. Just going to put this on a paper towel lined plate so that the grease can drain off of it. And, and I think that needs more time. I really do. So let me turn this back up. And I'm actually going to add more oil to it so that it can actually fry. So I am just using vegetable oil with a little bit of butter. And I'm just going to pour enough in there that we can finish frying that. And I will turn this back up to get that going. So yes, cooking is sometimes an experiment. I was really glad that I thought to check that chicken before I just went ahead and breaded it. Uh, yes, I have heard reports that chicken has not been smelling right, has not looked right, so you want to make sure that you are checking your poultry. I do know that the what I put in my jar smelled okay, so that, that did not smell funny, so I think what I had in my jars is good. And... My stuffing bites are almost done. So yeah, we're, we'll just let this coating cook a little bit more on here. Alright, so yeah, the turkey was plenty well cooked, so I don't have to worry about the turkey being raw on the inside because it pressure cooked for 75 minutes plus it was cooked before it went into the pressure canner so it's it's plenty done so we'll see what happens with with it and I 
I'm kind of looking forward to this. We'll give this a go and we will see see what we end up with when my stepping bites are done. I'm gonna pull those out. Grab a pot holder here. All right. Let me show you. Oh, these look really nice. Show you our beautiful stuffing bites, and I will link that recipe down there for for you guys so so these these look amazing all right and now that the air fryer is off i can turn my air conditioner back on because it is 83 degrees here right now and it is hot in here so Let's give this another stir. Yeah, now, now that looks done. That doesn't look mushy anymore. All right. Let's get this training on our paper towel. And we will get this plated up in see what kind of concoction we came up with here. All right. So it's turned out that I am having Thanksgiving dinner anyway. That might look a little bit different but it's still turkey mashed potatoes stuffing the only thing really missing is the cranberry sauce but I'm okay with that all right let me get this turned off and grab another paper towel because I want to bring you guys over here and show you what I'm going to be doing and you will have to excuse my mess because y'all I have been busy so I have celery dehydrating I canned a bunch of stuff this last week so I've been busy so now we are just going to pat this dry on the top and just kind of get some of that grease off and I think I'm gonna attempt to get these stuffing mites out hopefully they're not too terribly hot and we'll just give this a flip move this out of the way put that there and now, just like in, in my other video, you just want to pinch the tops of these and pop your bites out. And then you carefully lift that up. And oh my goodness. Look at those. They look so pretty. All right, y'all. Let's get this plated up. All right, I'm going to grab some mashed potatoes. And some of my gravy. Let me get that burner turned off before I forget. Right. 
make a little hole here for my gravy on my potatoes. And get some of our turkey. couple of our stuffing bites. So I think I'm doing three of these because I know I like them. And let's see, I think I'm going to drizzle a little bit of this gravy over the turkey. And just like that, we put the pan down. We have Thanksgiving dinner. Okay. Not what I anticipated for dinner, but that's okay. We'll go with it. Let me grab a fork. And let me spin you around. And let's try this turkey. Alright, I am literally a hot mess because it is hot in here, folks. Alright. Here is... My plate of food. Here is my fork. And let's give this turkey a try. Here's what it looks like. This actually looks really good. And here comes my bite. Mm. Y'all, this is actually really good. I think I like turkey this way. It's got a crunch to it. It's got some flavor to it. But that gravy is pretty good. Mashed potatoes. Beautiful stuffy bites. Look at those. Mmm. Not what I anticipated, but crack the pork. Woo! Here comes the happy dance. Woo! This turkey fix this way. If you have leftover turkey that that you need to repurpose and do something different with. Mm. Mm. That is good stuff. I like the turkey fix that way. Mm-hmm. I really suggest doing some leftover turkey like that because because y'all you know, that that was that is really good I'm going to enjoy that so that concludes this edition of Lori's thrifty kitchen pantry thank you so much for going on this adventure with me today and this was an adventure so this was not what I was anticipating but y'all I would have told you if that was not not good and I will would make this again so it, it is, it's very good it's very different and 
I'm kind of glad I didn't get to do the chicken like I intended because I would never have done the turkey this way so I'm really thankful that I am going to have this Thanksgiving dinner. I'm going to give Mr. Bubba his dinner and put my feet up and just enjoy the rest of the evening. So I hope you all had a great holiday. And I hope this gave you an idea of what you can do with your leftover turkey because this was different for me. I, I This was a first. But it actually turned out really good. So thank you for stopping by. Leave your prayer requests down below. Uh, let us let us pray, pray for you and uh, just uh, let us let us do that for you if, if you are in need of prayer and uh, send those Christmas cards if, if you send Christmas cards out to my post office box because I will very carefully open those online. Uh, I'll do a live show the week of Christmas and and we'll we'll do Christmas cards that night so. Thank you for spending time with me, and that concludes this edition of Lori's Thrifty Kitchen Pantry. Thank you so much for stopping by today, and I will see you all on the next video. Bye!